Haya, huku limwengu kianza maadhimisho ya kipindi cha siku 16 cha kutoa hamasisho dhidi ya dhulma za kijinsia ulimwenguni dhulma hizo zimekithiri mno katika mitaa ya mabanda dhulma hizo zikifanyika majumbani mahali panapofaa kuwa salama zaidi kwa mtu yote yule Husna Muhammad na maelezo zaidi Tabasamu na ucheshi mara nyingi ufunika mengi mazito machungu na magumu aliyopitia hata na upitia mtu maishani Mathalan Jendunge si jina lake halisi mwenye umri wa miaka 44 maisha yake yaliingia doa mnamo mwaka 2007 palipotokea vurugu na ghasia baada ya uchaguzi anaikumbuka vyema siku hiyo alipokuwa kiishi mtaa wa Madhari pamoja na familia yake mimi nilipata shida mingi sana sababu nilirepiwa nilirepiwa na watu na wajua na wakati walikuwa na mere walipiga bwana yangu sana usiku <laughs> Maji alizidi unga alipotambua ameambukizwa virusi vya ukimwi kutokana na tendo hilo la kinyama la ubakaji. Aitu na unge kwanza kipi kwa HIV positive. Alimbukiza ngoja. Hebana na hata hivi sijawahi pia mtu. Ndio watu nimekuambia. Sipoku wale mandaktari wananipea ndao. Hote wanajua sijawahi pia mtu. Hata mama yangu maremu Je, wajua kwamba mmoja kati ya wanawake watatu wamenyanyaswa kingono kabla afike umri wa miaka 18? Hai ni kulingana na utafiti wa idadi ya watu na afya nchini Kenya pamoja na shirika la afya duniani WHO. Kati ya 39 na 47 ya wanawake nchini Kenya wamedhulumika kingono na kijinsia maisha ni mwao. Kenya ikiwa miongoni mwa mataifa yaliyo na idadi ya juu duniani huku zaidi ya wajawazito asilimia 17 wakipitia dhuluma hizo aidha mwanamume mmoja kati ya watano amenyanyaswa kimapenzi kabla ya kufikia umri wa miaka 18 asilimia 41 wanawake waliolewa wakithibitisha kunyanyaswa na kudhulumika kingono na kijinsia majumbani mwao huku asilimia 11 wanaume wakiripoti visa kama hivyo pia haya yanajiri huku ulimwengu ukiadhimisha siku 16 za kupinga dhuluma za kijinsia na kingono hii ni kampeni ya kila mwaka inaanza tarehe 25 Novemba hadi 10 Desemba. Kauli mbiu ikiwa pamoja tuungane kukomesha ukatili na dhuluma dhidi ya wanawake na wasichana duniani. Jen Dunge anasema baada ya wahalifu hao kumpiga kitutu mumewe mumewe alitoweka sionekane tena. Tangu wakati huo wanangu alitoka anga akasikia wewe muona mpaka wale. Mlewa kitongo peke yangu kwa Kwa wengi visa hivi vya kinyama ni tamthilia na hekaya kwao ila kwa jendunge kwake ni hali halisia. Kudhulumika kwake kulimfanya hame mtaa wa madhare na kuchukia wanaume kwa jumla. Hakumbuki ni lini mwisho alivutiwa na mwanamume yeyote akiwa una wote wanyama wasio na utu. Mimi hata siku mpigia hapa sema ni mwalisa kwa nina yendanga. Lakini naelewa. Eh. Jen Dunge ambalo si jina lake halisi mama wa watoto tatu akisalia na visingizio butu anapoulizwa na wanawe aliko baba yao. Jen amebakia kufanya kazi za kijungujiko mbali na hapo awali alikuwa mshona na jinguo hodari. Nilikuwa na mashini yangu nilikuwa nasonya watu sweta za shule nikiwauzia. Sasa walikuja wakachukua kila kitu. Mashini yangu wakachukua kila kitu yote yenye nilikuwa kwa kwa hiyo nduka ni huwa naenda kufua nguo vitendo vya dhuluma za kijinsia na kingono vikizidi kuongezeka kila uchao wanaume wakiwa wahusika wakuu katika dhuluma za kijinsia majumbani kwa asilimia tisini. hii ni kulingana na ripoti ya kituo cha Gender Violence Recovery Center ila haimaanishi kwamba wanawake si wahalifu zaidi ya asilimia sita ya wanawake na asilimia sita wasichana waliripoti kudhulumiwa kijinsia katika afisi mbalimbali za kituo cha Gender Violence Recovery Center nchini. Huko wanaume wakiripoti visa asilimia tano na wavulana asilimia tatu. Mimi na juanga una ukirepiwa unaweza enda hospitali before 72 hours. Lakini singe toka kwa nyumba. Nilikuwa nimeumia. Mimi watoto wangu wanawaongelesha na ninawaambia wao wasemizi kuambia 
kama ni kwa mgonjwa lakini nawaambianga na ni mungu anawahimiza na nawaambia mambo sile zinaweza wasaidia kama mtu asiende na mtu kiorela na kama hata mtu amepata mtu rafiki usiende na yeye bila kinga mimi napitia anga mangumu sababu za zingine situjana nimekaa kwa nyumba nikifikiria nikifikiria hiyo maneno ya tu sasa nalia peke yangu watoto wananiuliza ni nini nawaambia sasa zingine wandangane na kumbuka tu maneno ya mama yangu vile alituacha Jen alibakia kusononeka na upweke kumvaa hadi pale alipojiunga na shirika la Kriu linaloshauri na kuongoza walioponea dhidi ya dhuluma za kijinsia nchini. Nitakuwa na heshima na, na nini? Yaani kitu ingekuwa imeniaffect sana. Sababu wakati walikuja walitusomesha nisikia hata nimepata nguvu. Naona ndio sasa nikaamua mimi mwenyewe ni jitokeze nionge sasa kulingana na vile walituongelesha niliona badali ni hii siri yangu nimejifichia kwa muda mrefu nimitoboe mimi hao watu wa kiriu ndio wananipeaka moyo sababu mara nyingi huwa wananipigia simu wananiongelesha tunaongea wananipea yani nguvu wananiambia hata kama mambo ilifanyika hiyo kuna kuishi kama waafrika wengi huamini siri sirini kuwa vigumu kwa dhuluma hizi kuzungumziwa hadharani unajua mambo zingine ukiambia watu watakutenga watakutenga alafu unajua watakuwa wanakusema afadhali niambie mtu sijui sababu ukiambia mtu wa familia watakuwa wanakusengenya watakuona wewe si mtu Nerea Akoth mwana saikolojia na mshauri katika shirika la Kriu anadokeza kwamba safari iliyodhulumiwa kijinsia si rahisi but the journey of uh, sexual violence is not it's not an easy journey yeah it's one day at a time visa vingi vya dhuluma za kijinsia na kingono hufanyika majumbani wengi wasiweze kujikwamua kutoka humo kwa sababu ya kukosa njia mbadala za kujikimu most women who go through gbv I don't have any alternative but to stay in an abusive marriage and this is because they they don't work or they don't provide for themselves. Nerea anasema kwamba kando na hapo awali kuwepo kwa vyanzo mbadala kumsaidia mwathiriwa ni nyenzo kuu katika kupunguza visa vya dhuluma za kijinsia. People fear reporting cases to the police because you know police have not been known to to handle matters of GPV very well but i'm also happy to report that uh, the poli- the national police service uh, have come up with something called policare i don't know whether you've heard about it it's um police officers providing a service under one roof huku akitaka wazazi kuchukua tahadhari kuu kwa kinga wana wao na wasiogope kuripoti kwa idara za polisi that's good to be observant because um a child who's gone through vi- uh, sexual violence or defilement one of the things you will notice about them is the change of walking style. You know, they'll always be walking different. Um if it was if I if she or he was a child who was you know babbling, you know, always talking everywhere, they'll tend to go into isolation. Je, yeah, mtu anaweza jikinga vipi dhidi ya dhuluma za kijinsia na kingono? Uh, it's just being aware of uh, of your space. Uh, and also being very you know very articulative about what is wrong or right for you at any particular time you know so there are some things that you know when somebody start touching you inappropriately for example and uh, you are not for it that is already harassment you know so you, you should not you know tolerate it for example and just say this person i want this person to know that we are not doing it you know so your voice make your voice loud jen dunge Anatoa wito kwa wasamaria wema kumsaidia. Mimi nasema kukipatikana usaidizi yoyote nisaidie hata biashara. Nikiwekewa nitafurahi leo watoto wangu. Sasa kama kuna uwezekano wa wa kuweza kunisomeshia au wasikana wawili na wasafurahi. Dhuluma za kijinsia na kingono inasalia jangafiche majumbani mwa wakenya wengi. Swali likisalia ni kwa nini unyama umewatoka wanyama na kuingia binadamu? Husna Muhammad K10 News Na bila shaka mtazamaji kumbuka ni maadhimisho ambayo atakuwa anafululiza hadi tarehe 